Hey, so Brad with Office of the CISO here. I wanted to talk through a recently announced vulnerability, uh, CVE 2022-42475. I'll put all the details down in the notes. Um, so this is a, a vulnerability of the Fortinet SSL VPN feature in FortiGates and Fortinet proxies. So it, it affects uh, multiple versions of FortiOS and Fortinet proxy. Uh, Fortinet announced this vulnerability on December 12th. 2022, uh, CISA, uh, the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency, had, um, added it to its list of known exploited vulnerabilities uh, December 13th. Um, and the uh, NVD, the National Vulnerability Database, details were published uh, January 2nd of 23. Um, as of right now, NVD has not uh, scored this vulnerability yet. However, Fortinet rates the vulnerability as a 9.3 or critical. Um, so the vulnerability details, it's it's a heat-based buffer overflow vulnerability. Uh, the um, MITRE identifier for that is CWE-122. Uh, so it, it means that memory that's allocated, I assume, to the SSL VPN process uh, can be overwritten, allowing for arbitrary code to be executed. Uh, not code that the, vulner uh, that the uh, developers of the operating system intended rather um, code that is controlled by an, an attacker. Um, in this case, the vulnerability is remotely exploitable, so this could be used as an initial attack vector that, uh, that an attacker would use to get into your environment, uh, meaning they don't have to be in the environment already to, uh, to exploit the vulnerability. If your devices are live on the internet using the SSL VPN service, this vulnerability could be uh, exploited and used against your environment. Yeah. Uh, current solutions are uh, Fortinet has patched the vulnerability in, in newer versions of the um, the Forti OS and Forti Proxy um, products. So upgrade your devices as quickly as possible. Um, if you're not able to patch immediately. The only workaround is to disable the feature, to disable the disable the SSL VPN services. So um, patch if you can, if not, disable the services. Um, and that's about that. Uh, stay tuned for more um, vulnerability discussions with Office of the CISO. I'll try to get these out as often as possible. Thanks for uh, your time.